I got this dress at Bestier Collective and I'm really glad that I did. It's a color that I like, it's a fabric that I like, and I think it's very well made, so it's gonna last me a long time. One of the reasons why I love Bestier Collective is that I think you can get really good value for money if you're resourceful. But when you're shopping secondhand, especially online, there can be a lot of uncertainty that comes with that. For example, like you don't want to buy something, invest in it, and then when you receive it, it doesn't fit you, or it's not exactly what you were looking for. If you want to take some of that risk away, then stay tuned, because I'll be sharing with you a few things that I've learned by shopping at Vestier Collective, and I'll also be talking a bit about the research that I've done on the experiences of others. If you like shopping secondhand or secondhand designer, then click the like and the subscribe button, because I'll be coming out with new videos once a week. I remember reading an article and seeing that people only wear about 40% of their wardrobes, and that really surprised me, but it can explain why Vestier Collective has so many items for sale on their website, and most of it is sold by millennials. If you're not familiar with shopping there, then you might not know that you can either buy from individual sellers or professional sellers. And a couple of cool ones that I found are Cynthia. I really like that she sells neutral pieces, but they're special and really cute, but also affordable. I came across another seller named Sarah, and she does a lot of cool vintage pieces. I'll leave a link down below. If there are any sellers that you would recommend, please leave a comment below. I think a common misconception is that most of the pieces are designer. But actually, one of the things that, that I really love about their website is that they also have a huge vintage selection. Other designer resale websites do not have such a great vintage selection like they do. And not only that, but you can find contemporary pieces, independent designers, they have everything all across the board, even streetwear. You can also shop from a lot of cool brands that are not so easy to find at home because they cater to such a global audience and have so many sellers from around the world. For example, if you're into Reformation, then you should definitely check out Rouge and Realisation from France. And if you're like me and you like online window shopping while you're watching a movie or something, then you should know that Vestier Collective has thousands of new items coming in every day, so you can keep checking back. It's really impressive that they were able to raise money during a pandemic when so many other companies were losing money. I've heard that it's because they want to expand further into Asia. What are the implications of that? I think it means that we'll see a lot of new stuff on the website because Japan is the number one biggest resale market in the world. And on top of that, I'm hoping that we'll also see some cool new brands that we've never seen before. What do you think? And if you're finding this information useful so far, then please click the like button down below. This channel is brand new and it will really help me. If you go to a product page, then you can check to see if there's the Make Me an Offer tool enabled. If so, then you can click on it and write how much you would like to pay for the item. And the seller can either accept your offer, decline your offer, or send a counter offer within a short period of time. I think that it's possible to probably get a little bit off the price if it's not quite what you're willing to pay. If you're buying something that's outside of your own country, then it can be a little scary because you don't know how much shipping is going to cost, how long it's going to take. But one of the strengths of Vestier is that they really cater to a worldwide audience. So that means they have a lot of good policies in place for shipping. For example, you're charged all of the fees up front, shipping, duties, customs, etc., so that there aren't any surprises when DHL or UPS shows up to deliver something to you. To be honest with you, something that used to be annoying was that I'd order something and then the seller just wouldn't ship the item. <laughs> I would be waiting and waiting and waiting. But recently they've changed their policies that the seller has only one week to send their item to Vestier Collective, who then inspects the item to make sure that it is what it's supposed to be and then sends it to you. By the way, in the off chance that the seller doesn't send you something, in my experience, Vestier Collective sends you a refund and also a discount code to use on their website. When I was researching other people's experiences, I came across a really cool hack. Someone said that what she'll do to make sure that the seller will actually send the item in a reasonable amount of time is that she'll write a comment on the seller's profile page. If the seller responds quickly, then they're also more likely to ship the item quickly. 
So I thought it was a cool hack. They hire experts to check that each item is authentic, but to be extra safe and extra, <coughs> I'm sorry, to be extra sure and extra safe that you're not getting an item that is fake, it can't hurt to do your own research. I found that Purse Blog Forum is a really good resource for getting information on what designer items should look like. They go into the details like, what should the hardware be like? What should the stitching be like, etc. I'm gonna leave a link down below. It can't hurt to buy from a trusted seller or an expert seller. If you see this badge on someone's profile, it means that they have a history of making successful sales in the past. I've shopped on secondhand websites before and I've bought things with excellent prices that almost seemed too good to be true and they were. So my tip is to always know how much something would cost in store before you buy it secondhand. It's also worth mentioning that not everyone has the same idea of what good condition or very good condition means. Leave a comment on the seller's profile page if you need more info or more photos. Yes, it's not always possible to make refunds when you're shopping secondhand, but with the Best Year Collective, it is. If you've bought something that isn't exactly what you're looking for, then you can return it within 14 days for a full refund if you purchase the item from a professional seller. If you've purchased the item from an individual seller, what you have to do is you have to relist your item on the platform, and then when the item sells, you'll get money back. That about covers it, and I have to say, all things considered, I've had a really positive, really smooth experience shopping from them, and I've done it quite a bit this past year, so I definitely recommend it. And if you found this video helpful, then please click like and subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's.